Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be going over the pillars, but in the first off, I'm just showing you how I lit up the console by putting redstone lamps underneath and then it blew it up. But as you can see I did the pillar here and then a couple of the sort of the bases for it, but I'm gonna show you how I've done that and then what else I've done from there. So we started off by changing the red lights to blue, which was part of the grey sort of bases, but we had to make it sort of a bit bigger because Minecraft is the box the blocks are massive and you can't really do it small. So as you can see this is the pillar so far. I've added in glowstone within that to make it sort of light up a little bit. Then I'm extending it out and I do believe I change it a little bit later on, but it's still the sort of the same idea. And yeah, just adding more glowstone in to light the whole pillar up. So from there I'm still gonna extend it out a bit more and then add a couple blocks coming out. I'm just gonna switch these two ones out and then put it on top of the glowstone to like change up the pattern a bit more. You can see I'm just trying to put glowstone everywhere to try and sort of lighten it up inside and then it doesn't look as boring or just try to sort of glow the place up so when I put the roof over it's gonna look a bit better. So originally I had the grey block in between but now I'm gonna cut out the glowstone Add in a sea lantern and then put the blue glass in between, which will make the sort of the glowing blue light effect. From there, I'm just going to go underneath the TARDIS and replace the redstone lamps, which will then change the light to more of a bluey sort of colour, which is underneath the towers or pillars. As you can see, I couldn't find every single redstone lamp under there because I placed redstone blocks above it. So, as you can see, I've come back on top and then placed the sea lanterns on. Now you can see we've got a basis for each sort of pillar. As you can see the ones that are on the sides aren't as good but I couldn't really make them because they weren't turning in towards the console and they I couldn't find a in the middle point so. But as you can see I'm trying to copy this one pillar here and it doesn't go exactly right as the main one but the other three are exactly the same to each other so after a while I do eventually change the, the one which is the bigger one at this point in time. But if you are copying along, copy these three that I'm building right now. So at this point, I'm just trying to get the pillars to come up a bit more whilst they're extending out. So eventually, once they're getting up to the top, they can then lean down into the main console. So at this point, as you can see, this is once I fully extended them and I'd fixed the the main one into looking like the other three. Now I have one of the ones on the side which I haven't really sorted out yet because I'm trying to sort of find a way to make it look good. But eventually I just end up sticking with what I had as I couldn't really find a different way to making it look any better. If you've got any ideas for placing a bigger pillar to look better or adding anything different to it, please leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe while you're at it. So now that you can see I've got the pillars coming up, I'm leaving them there with the blue sort of the light coming out again and then I'm tilting it down into the main console. And then from there I'm just replacing a couple blocks as I didn't really like how it looked. So then I'm just changing the blue glass to the sea lantern and then I'm adding the blue glass on top. And then we're building them out like you could just see there and we're making a sort of a claw shaped with the honeycomb. So then once I got the claw shape, I tried to find a way to cover up the sort of the light from above. So I found this sort of cross shape. Then I built up to that to sort of cover it up a bit more. And then I repeated it round on all the other ones. If you have been copying from this, just please be aware that I have changed things throughout it. So it's going to look a bit, little bit different to what you've been doing. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe to see more content like this coming soon.